Yeah. I'm David Holes. I'm the CTO at Leap Motion. And uh, with the, this is the this is the Leap. Okay, so I'll do some stuff over here. We usually start off with some very simple drawing. Actually, this will probably make it better for your screen, right? Uh, we usually start off with some very sort of simple drawing. And, uh, you know, we're fast, you know, it's accurate, you know, I can move really fast. Uh, but also, uh, you know, I can move very small, too. So that's just a centimeter right there. I'm drawing hello, then just about a centimeter. And, of course, we can do multiple fingers, you know. And, uh, you know, I can, I can do multiple fingers, and I can pause it in the air, and everything is in 3D. So sort of my, the way my fingers are moving in 3D. And, uh, of course, we can see the entire hand. So, you know, here's my, here's my, uh, Here's my entire hand. You can see the the very the subtle motions of my fingertips being very, very, very accurately tracked. Uh, and uh, so there's lots of interesting stuff you can do with this. Uh, I'll load up some maps for a second, and uh, you, know, you can see you can imagine sort of going through maps, you know, uh, generally like we do with uh, with touch. But uh, of course, we're not touching, and I can you know, get that good pinch to zoom because we have that accuracy. Uh, we're also very responsive. And uh, Pretty easy to use. There's our office right there. I'll zoom back out to the rest of the United States. Over to, uh, <laughs> to New York. Yep. So, and uh, of course, we can do things in 3D. So, you know, in 3D, you get that extra efficiency. So, here's sort of in, in, out, left, right, up, down. Those are all really just one motion in 3D. So, here I'm you know, I'm uh, changing angle, zooming in, it's all just one motion. That's sort of the bandwidth, uh, the advantages that you get to 3D. Uh, you know, you can imagine doing simpler things, you know, uh, browsing the internet, sort of just grab the, mon grab the screen and kind of go up, down, you know, fling it. Uh, also, of course, uh, you know, more complicated, uh, more complicated demos too, where, you know, you're sort of reaching into a virtual space and moving it around and, you know, spinning things around and doing all sorts of really interesting stuff, you know, with things that are traditionally very visually complicated or very difficult interactive-wise. But uh, all of a sudden now it can get sort of a natural physical intuition for how it's so structured uh, in a physical way, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that's sort of a quick overview. And, uh, of course, anything touch... Uh, related is just immediately supported with low-level hardware emulation. So I can sort of reach into any sort of touch application and sort of use it in a natural way without any code or, or uh, you know, sort of difficulty. And so I think that's about it.